Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill. Today on Suncoast FYI, we preview the upcoming season at the Van Wezel, a look at the upcoming Can Dance event, and what's new with Alzheimer's Association, all next on Suncoast FYI. The 2018-2019 season for the Van Wezel has officially arrived. Joining me now is Executive Director Mary Benzel, who is here to tell us about the great upcoming events on the Sun Coast. Hi. This is always <laughs> one of my favorite, most oh, exciting shows. Thank you. And it you're is so kind really. Us, but you know, I always love the beginning of the season because it's such a, a big burst of activity. It is. Yeah. It is, and the excitement that mm -hmm. it brings to the oh, Sun Coast. Oh, absolutely. Now you've got comedy. Musicians, Broadway. You bet. Star studded, everything going and, on. And lots of diversity. That's the thing I love about yeah. per, you know, a performing arts center is that we have all sorts of entertainment. And we have a lot of premieres this year, too. Like? Well, you know, <laughs> Can one you of the. Share yes, at this absolutely. Point? <laughs> Eddie Izzard, who's a, one of my favorite young comedians. And by young, I'm being, you know, I'm young for me. Relative, You know, right? he's not he's 20. Us, yes. <laughs> you know, but of course, the biggest of the premieres for Sarasota is the biggest show in the world, The Lion King, oh, which gosh. is coming for three weeks in March. And then another huge Broadway show coming in right after Christmas is On Your Feet, the story of Gloria and Emilio Esteban. It was fabulous. I saw it, it in New York. It was fabulous. Must Lots see. of things. Must really see. fabulous. Really yep. great. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I was lucky enough last year to travel to Budapest, and I saw um, David Foster, who is the great composer, performer, and he did a special that was on PBS that I got to be there for, and he was with his oh then girlfriend, gosh. Catherine McPhee, who is now his fiance and they were much, much, much in love, Aww. but it was great. And he's coming to Sarasota for the first time. And then, you know, we have Stephen Sills and Judy Collins. And this is one of the shows that I'm really looking forward to. Because, of course, Stephen Stills has been there with Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Yep. But this is the first time they're putting Stephen and Judy. And, of course, they were lovers back in the day. Yeah. Oh. And he wrote Sweet Judy Blue Eyes for her. Uh -huh. And then I guess there was a turbulent time. Uh -huh. And now they're back together and they're doing over 100 shows. Yep. So that's really really exciting for me. Yep. And we, we also have the illusionists coming straight from Broadway, which uh -huh. is all magic and things like that. And then a show um, that for our veterans, we have Stephen Lang, who was the bad guy in Avatar. He is coming in a show called Beyond Glory, and he portrays six Medal of Honor winners. And he was also in a, it was a horror movie. I, it was called Don't Breathe. I had to look at my notes because mm -hmm. I was too afraid to see it. You know, he played this um, blind guy and these kids came into the house. And oh so my gosh. He is such a brilliant actor. So I'm really excited about that. We have Leah Salonga, who was the original Miss Saigon, who also sang Mulan and all the princesses in the Disney movie. She was that voice. She's coming. And then a show, I'm staying an extra day before I go home for Christmas to see Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, <laughs> which has never been there. So, you know, that, it's just going to be a big, big season. It's wonderful f to have you on here because you, you bring the shows to life. I mean, oh. I can, you can look at them in the beautiful catalog Yes, that we you have, have a beautiful brochure for yeah. everybody. If you haven't gotten one, you can either download it online or just call us up and we'll get yeah. you one. And, and you read about it, but hearing yeah. you talk about it, it oh. really makes you want to go to all well, the shows. Well, it's because I go to so many. I mean, last year in May, I went to see, um, gosh, 11 Broadway shows in seven days. So, you know, you have to know I love it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Love, love, live it. Yeah. Now, um, crowd pleasers coming back. Do we have sure. any of our favorites coming we back? We sure do. I mean, we're kicking off with Jerry Seinfeld in September. Amazing. Um, you know, which is really fantastic. For Christmas, we have Mannheim, Steamroller, and Dave Koz, which are, I love. I could go every year and see them, you know. And then we have Gladys Knight and Patti LaBelle. You know, I'm so, you know, now that Aretha has passed, I think, you know, Gladys and Patti are taking mm -hmm. up the torch. Yeah. And yeah. they are such incredible performers. Yeah. Patti LaBelle, I knew because I'm from Philadelphia, go Eagles. I think they <laughs> won last week. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, I'm really excited about them. And then even in the Broadway category, we have The King and I. And yeah. Sound of Music. Great. And then we have a few shows that have been there maybe once or a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Like we have Bob Dylan, which I must say is sold out already. Wow. But um, the Israel Philharmonic Orchestra, the huge one at Zubin Mehta's last time um, conducting, Carol Burnett. 
I can Amazing. tell you, Amazing. I've met her several times. She is a national treasure, yes. a wonderful woman, and boy, one of the funniest ladies I, I have ever, ever yep. seen. Yep. Jay Leno is coming back. You know, Roseanne Cash, Jerry, Jerry Lee Lewis, great balls of fire. Oh my gosh. I mean, All this right. is Jerry Lee. This is not a, a you know, a, a, a tribute. Yeah. This is Jerry Lee. Awesome. Well. <laughs> Best way to keep up on the shows is go to your website. Yes, right? and become a E Club member. Okay. You know, when we put a new show on sale, E Club members and subscribers who are our best friends mm -hmm. get to buy tickets like a day or two early. And so they That's get the, the best way to seats. do it. That's so the way to do just it. Just join, it's free. Okay. Now, purchasing tickets. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we're purchasing multiple tickets, discounts, yes. any discounts. kind of groups. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We have group sale discounts on almost all shows. Janet mm -hmm. Arena in our office, just call us, um, and, and Janet will take care of you. Go to our website. The phone number's there, but our office number's 955-7676. Okay. Ask for Janet. She's so friendly. Okay. And then all subscribers, right. we have um, 15 to 10 to 15 percent discounts. So okay. that's really great. All right. Now, I can't imagine you're going to do anything to make this season more spectacular, but you have any uh, things coming well, up to surprise us? Well, we have not us? announced the Gala Star yet. That's okay. because I don't know who it is. Okay. <laughs> it's still a surprise to it's you. It's still a surprise to me there's okay. three or four people we thought we had Gloria Estefan um, we'll try on her another year uh, she unfortunately had to go to London but I'm working on a very handsome gentleman right now okay. with some great music pipes so all we'll right see. I want to go I don't know who it is but you'll, sure you'll want to come okay <laughs> thanks Mary thanks for Thank being you. here coming up next on Suncoast FYI a preview of the upcoming can dance event we'll be right back Community Health's 19th annual Can Dance, Dancing with Our Stars, is getting closer, and SNN's Hallie Pilot has a preview of this year's 2018 Can Dance event. Let's take a look at how one of the competitors is preparing for the competition. Kathleen McCabe, an ophthalmologist, a mom, and a black belt in Taekwondo. So, where did she find the time to compete in this year's Can Dance? That is a good question. My life is very busy and, you know, when I decided that that this was something that maybe I could fit into my life, um, I was really passionate about wanting to do a good job. So I really didn't want to participate if I wasn't going to get, be able to give it 100% of my effort. She says carving out the time was a challenge. I also don't know the word no very well. And with no prior experience, McCabe says the dancing part is another challenge. So I'm not coming from a background where I can build upon it. We're starting fresh. She can't reveal what song she picked for her routine, but her partner Josh Alexander told her to pick one she has an emotional connection to. So that was the first criteria, and I came up with a whole list of songs I thought were meaningful. And I made sure I put songs on that list that I could stand to hear 500 times in a row. <laughs> They got off to a quick start as they knew they'd have to take a break when McCabe went on one of her medical mission trips, a cause very close to her heart. And ophthalmology and cataract surgery is just a really easy way to make a life-changing impact in a short duration of time with patients. So it worked out beautifully. Now she's back and she worried she was going to be a bit rusty but says it all came rushing back. Things are starting to connect and flow together in a way that is achieving one of the things I told my partner I really wanted to experience, which, which was that feeling of flying while you're dancing, so. Making herself vulnerable on the dance floor, and she says, while fundraising. You know, I'm coming to grips with that part of it because it's so necessary in bringing interest, number one, to it and the process, but also highlighting why we're doing it. And I'm one of those people who, even with Can Dance, I'm kind of compulsive about trying to do the very best job I can do. Putting her best foot forward in clinics, surgery, and research. Become Can Dance, that foot will be in a dancing shoe. You know, being an overachiever means I'm not going to settle for okay. I just really want to make sure what I present in October is my best effort. So it's a lot of fun. I'm really, really enjoying the process. Reporting for Can Dance 2018, I'm Hallie Pilot. 
Thank you, Hallie. We'll have more on Can Dance later this fall. Coming up next on Suncoast FYI, two Suncoast men are hoping to end Alzheimer's one step at a time. We'll be right back. and Bob Clay are helping raise money for the Walk to End Alzheimer's. They began fundraising as a team in 2014 and have now risen to one of the top fundraising teams in the United States. And they join me now in the studio. One of the top in the United States, but number one you were telling me in Florida? In Florida, we've been number one for two years in a row and we're shooting for Number three this year. Three, Pete, you said. And we've got it in the bag. You, you do? Oh, We're okay. confident. Okay, well, that's what it starts with, right, that's is right. being confident. Now, how did you get involved uh, with the Walk to End Alzheimer's? And, and tell us a little bit about why it's so important to you. My wife and I moved to the Sarasota Bay Club because my wife was diagnosed with dementia in 2009, initially as depression and it was really mild cognitive impairment. We were living on Longboat Key. We built our dream house, expected to live there our entire life. And once she was diagnosed, the di decline became, began. And we moved into the Sarasota Bay Club to make life much easier for my wife. She was uh, placed in a memory care unit in August of 2017. When I moved to the Sarasota Bay Club, Sarasota Bay Club is independent living for seniors, and there are a number of residents there who have spouses or family that have been hit with this disease. One, every three, one out of every three seniors that die, die from Alzheimer's or dementia. It's that prevalent. Every 66 seconds, someone is diagnosed with dementia or Alzheimer's. So clearly, I have the passion. Mm -hmm. The Sarasota Bay Club is the right kind of organization since Steve Roskamp is the owner. His father started Roskamp Institute. I'm familiar with that. So there is the direct connection, and Sarasota Bay Club has supported our team in many, many different ways. Mm -hmm. They supply hats for the walkers. And shirts. They, they supply <laughs> T-shirts. They provide a bus to go to the walk, mm -hmm. a luxury lunch after the walk. Oh and financially they have supported us significantly. Well, I can say it's personally touched my life too, so um, I'm very sorry. Um, there are thousands of fundraising teams across the United States that support the Alzheimer's Walk. Can you tell me how your team rose to number one? Well, we have a very dear supporter to mm -hmm. our SBC Striders. It's uh, Arnold Simonson from Longboat Key. And he has given us two years ago 25,000, last year 50,000, and he started us off this year with 125,000. Oh my gosh. And we popped into number one in the country. And so awesome. we're moving forward to our goal this year is 175,000. Well, I'm sure you'll get there. He's a personal, Arnold is a personal friend of mine. Uh -huh. He saw the decline that my wife went through. He understands the disease, he gets it, mm -hmm. and he wants to support it. So he's been very generous. What do you want people team. to know about Alzheimer's disease? I think people should, first of all, know that you can be diagnosed, and the best thing to do to take the mystery out of it is to have a regular memory test. The memory tests are free. They're given by Sarasota Memorial Hospital, Ross Camp Institute, mm -hmm. the Alzheimer's Association, uh, Jewish Cham Children and Family Services. The second thing that people should realize, and the more and more research that is that's being uncovered, incidentally, there's been some real breakthroughs. This, Thank this, goodness. This, yes. this disease has finally reached a level of awareness equal to cancer. We never thought we would get there. In fact, the scientists last year really put it on the on, nail on the head when they said this is an epidemic. It's not just a disease. Currently, there are 5.4 million people that have it. Mm -hmm. Unless a cure is found, we're looking at 15 million people by 2050. 
each Alzheimer's person requires three caregivers. So you can just do the math and see the issue it is in terms of sure. heartbreak and financial Dif uh, All the way around it's for the other thing that, Nancy, that's so important is that there are today, there's good evidence about lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle is important. Diet, nutrition, nutrition, diet, yeah. Yeah. exercise, sure. sleep. People mm -hmm. don't realize, and, and interrupted sleep is not good. Right. Sleep is very important, yeah. and keeping your brain active. Use it or lose it is, yeah. is sounds like a cliche, yep. but you, you need, and you need to stay socially engaged. Yep. A yes. lot of important things. Yes. I, before we run out of time, I want to get to a couple other things. Where can um, someone who's dealing with this, a family member, go to get help? Would, would they start with the Ross Camp Center? Well, or the, one of the those, or? Alzheimer's Association has a 24-hour-a-day okay. helpline, right. and that's 1-800-272-3300. Uh, Okay. 24 hours a day, okay. seven days a week, okay. and you can get uh, uh, all the information you need on the helpline there. Okay, wonderful. Now, if, if families would like to participate in the walk, who should they contact, and where is it taking place? Let's, let's start. Where is it taking place, and how can people Well, the walk get we're in is the Sarasota Manatee County Walk, mm -hmm. and you can go to the Alzheimer's, A-L-Z dot org uh, website, and and, uh, and sign up and there. sign up for a team there, okay. or you can call Christine Lee at the T Alzheimer's Association in Lakewood Ranch, okay. and her phone number is seven two seven two two zero four four five four. Awesome. Thank you both, and have a fabulous, I'm sorry, one, one last thing? One very important thing, okay. and that is for caregivers, Yes. there's a tremendous support group at the Friendship Center. Okay. The Friendship Center in Sarasota. I, I attended that for the last 11 years. All right. Thank, Thank you, you both for being here. And um, we'll say prayers for a good sunny day that day. Not too hot. Thank you. Not okay. too hot. Thank November 2nd. We didn't say the date. November 2nd. That was on there. Number, November 2nd. No, November no, it's the 17th. 17th. November 17th. All I, right. We forgot to say the date. Well, we just did. November okay. 17th. November what time? November 17th. Nine o'clock. All right. Nine. See you there. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for saving us. <laughs> <laughs> right after the break, join us for a look at a few events happening across the Sun Coast. Let's take a look at a couple events happening on the Sun Coast this weekend. Saturday is the fifth annual Taste of Downtown Sarasota event at the historic Sarasota Opera House at 1 p.m. And you're invited to the Caribbean Evening Under the Stars at the Westin in Sarasota this Saturday. 100% of the contributions for this event will benefit Puerto Rico's small farmers and it kicks off at 7 p.m. and runs through 11 p.m. If you would like to promote your community event on Suncoast FYI, we would love to hear from you, and this is a complimentary service. Please call our producer, Robert Pandelfino, at 941-361-4616. To view previous episodes, go to snntv.com under programming. I'm Nancy O'Neill, and we'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.